bago natin malaman yung uh, winner ng buong group dynamics natin. So, uh, let's first tackle why natin yung ginawa. So, so yan, sino nahirapan or ginawa yung bonus? <laughs> ano, um, pinagawa namin to sa inyo para magawa niya siya during online class. <laughs> Para gumalaw-galaw tayo. I think lahat tayo guilty na mas naging idol. Like, nakupo oh, lang, ganun. Pero yung sa physical na activity, uh, ni-remind tayo na it's important to be aware of our physical health. Kasi, obvious naman, like, nasa pandemic tayo, need natin maging mas healthy. And we need to take care of ourselves even if and while we are still young. So, even if, kasi, I know yung feeling na parang kunyari, mga 12 a.m. gising pa tayo, mga 1, 2, 3, hanggang sa naabutan na natin yung sunrise, <laughs> di pa rin tayo gising. Ay, di pa rin tayo tulog. Tapos, parang wala masyadong feeling, ay, wala masyadong consequence. Pero lagi sinasabi sa amin ng coach namin before, na um, as early as now, need natin ma-develop yun good habits, good uh, healthy habits na matitake natin as we grow old. Kasi bago magkaroon ng consequences, kailangan natin siya. Ayun. And sabi rin in uh, 1 Corinthians 6, 19-20 na do you not know that your bodies are temples of the Holy Spirit who is in you whom you have received from God? You are not your own. You were bought at a price. Therefore, honor God with your body. So, the more we are healthy, the more we can glorify God with our body. So, next naman, sa mental. <laughs> um, ito, at ito sa pinaka-challenging na um, question kanina. And, yun, ito yung sunod-sunod na ano. So, na-explain ba sa inyo kung ano yung, ano, ba't ito yung answer? <laughs> or, hindi ba? kanina, di ba, sa mental na activity. Like, may mga decisions, mga brain teasers. Pa- pati yung, ano, yung, yung square, di ba, parang marami ata nagkamali doon. Um, in life, hindi lang sa school na parang need natin gamitin yung parang pag uh, make na decisions, ganyan. And in this activity, we're just reminded na in every decision that we make, we should ask God na uh, nakalagay nga in nga, Proverbs 1.7, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of his love. Kasi siya nga yung nagbibigay sa atin ng kakayahan para intindihin yung mga bagay. And as said, kanina diba sabi ko team activity to. So, dapat marunong rin tayo makinig sa iba and um, you will be counted as twice to that. And, yun, last na, ano, na do not be wise in your own eyes, fear the Lord and shun evil. This will bring help to your body and nourishment to your bones. So, um, kahit na habang bata, may mga small decisions lang tayo. Pero as we grow old, parang those small or big decisions have an impact kung paano tayo nagdadib now. So, next naman sa social. So, binigyan kayo ng, um, mga tasks na gawin. And it's just a reminder for us to reach out to support each other and to think of others first or learn to think of others first. Kasi diba yung mga tasks na to, like hindi naman siya normal for us to do in a daily basis. Pero especially during this time, we should know how to reach out. And kahit na parang ang hirap uh, malaman yung mga stuff kung sa isang person, uh, we still try to know things about each other. Like ngayon, sa fellowship. Kaya important yung fellowship. Ayan. So, parang di rin natin alam na yung mga ibang like encouraging words or mga sinasabi natin sa ibang tao, it has, a, it has an impact sa life nila. Uh, as much as yung sinasabi natin ng counselors natin, ng friends natin, pag kunyari kinukomplement nila tayo or like sinasabihan nila tayo ng something good, it 
sabi nga dito, it's sweet to the soul and healing to the bone. And, ayan. So, therefore, uh, we should encourage one another and build each other up. Just as in fact, we are doing. And, yun nga. So, we should also learn how to think of others first. Uh, second to the last, sa so emotion. <laughs> Wait, tatawa ko sa baby. So, part ng uh, pagkakaroon ng good emotional quotient is being able to uh, determine yung um, facial expression or um, mood ng ibang tao kahit na di nila sinasabi. So, that is also called empathy. Dito, nakalagay yung definition ng empathy. Empathy is the action of understanding, being aware of, being sensitive to, and vicariously experiencing the feeling, thoughts, and experience of one another of another without them explicitly conveying me. I think important to, lalo na na nag-zoom lang tayo, like, di talaga natin sila, like, ma-feel, like, yung physical presence nila. So, pag kinakausap natin yung person, uh, actually nga, may nakalagay sa, di ko naman na basa, pero like, parang it's a good etiquette na if we show um our face, like, kahit nika, parang kahit na ano lang, like, virtual lang. We show our face, para we, we let um, the other person know na nandito tayo, like, uh, we want them to feel our presence, and likewise. Um, yun. So, actually, um, nung iniisip naman yung uh, yung activity na yun, it's really practical, kasi kahit sa Bible na halagay, na in Romans 12, 15, we should be happy with those who are happy. Uh, we with those who weep. So, parang kailangan mo matutulik na feel yung, yung feelings ng iba. Parang, and then, get ba. And, if one member suffers, all suffer together. If one member is honored, all rejoice together. So, ito yung pertaining as a church. And, um, it is also important to be aware of our own emotions and what triggers them. Di ba kanina, parang determine natin muna kung ano yung nafe-feel ng iba. So, ginagaya natin yun. Kasi parang, parang, hindi naman sa like, parang imimimik natin yung emotion sa iba. Pero, tayo naman, like, inwardly, like, need natin uh, ma-determine. Kunyari, uh, I feel, parang, parang na-irritate ako, ganyan. So, what triggers it? Kasi more than being reactive, we need to learn how to respond to these emotions in the right way. Kaya nga may sinatawag tayo na coping mechanism. So, uh, it can either be helpful or not helpful. Kaya, nakalagay nga ayun. Kunyari, uh, if we feel worried, ganyan. Parang it's a good uh, practice to combat every time we worry. Na kung ano yung, man yung parang na learn natin before sa kaka-worry natin sa isang bagay, kinakombat natin with it yung lesson na natutunan natin. And I take dito yung nakalagay sa Matthew 6.27 na can any one of you by worrying add a single hour to your life? So every time, example lang to, so every time nag-worry tayo, pwede natin to tandaan to combat yung nag-worry natin. And yun, parang Ngayon nga ay nakalagay na we can combat yung mga nasa natin with yung word ni God. Kasi si God nga yung comfort natin, yung refuge. And sabi niya in his own words na, Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow. For tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. So lastly, the spiritual. Di ba, in-ask kayo mag-pray. Then may mga ilang part na nag kayo on your own na sarili niya sinasabi yung thoughts and feelings niyo kay God. So, nabasa uh, namin kasi sa isang book called Purpose Driven Life na nakalagay, the first building block of a deeper relationship with God is complete honesty about your thoughts and your feelings. Kasi this is also part of asking ourselves na kamusta tayo? Kamusta yung spiritual life natin? And we should be able to explicitly say yung mga thoughts and feelings natin, um, kung ano yung parang situation natin right now to God. Kasi siya yung mga kahelp sa atin and siya yung naka-understand sa atin. And nakalagay rin sa book yun isang example ni Job. Nakalagay dito na, Therefore, I will not keep silent. 
I will speak out the anguish of my spirit, I will complain in the bitterness of my soul. So, parang sinasabi niya na, I can't be quiet. I am angry and bitter. I have to speak. Kasi, parang kung ano man yung sinasabi natin, hey God, siya naman nakaka-understand nung anong nanggagaling sa heart natin. And it's also the same sa sinabi ni David na, My sacrifice, O oh God, is a broken spirit. A broken and contrite heart. You, God, will not suffer. And as we grow deeper in the faith or with our relationship with God, um, I think na feel natin yung power ni God sa overall life natin. Kasi sabi nga in, in Proverbs 4, 22-22, My son, pay attention to what I say. Turn your ear to my words. Do not let them out of your sight. Keep them within your heart, for they are life to those who find them and health to one's whole body. So, nakita dito na our, yung spiritual life natin is not just an aspect na parang maliit na aspect of our life. But if we put it in the center of our life, it provides us yung nourishment na need natin. Kasi si God yun to take care of us. And if we continue to hope in Him, nakalagay the Isaiah 40.31 Now those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. So, last na point lang na um, sa lahat ng patients na napuntahan natin um, sa lahat ng activity we are reminded na to seek first the kingdom of God and His righteousness and all these things Yung uh, physical health, mental health, social life, the most thing will be added unto you. And whatever you do in word or deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father to Him. So our, um, still our ultimate goal is to bring glory to God through yung different aspects ng life natin. So, yan lang. Thank you so much.